Hi guys! This is going to be a totally different video on how I do my self pet grooming if you all that have pets. Um, this is Chloe and Chloe is a Shih Tzu and Yorkie mixed. And so she, Chloe just got a bath. She's been blow dried and everything and I'm going to show you guys how I keep her trimmed up so hopefully she will act good today so um, the first thing I like to do is I like to just brush her hair um, and make sure I really don't have too many uh, kinks in in her hair make sure there's no tangles and all of that and um, yeah so what I like to do is um, the hair that's mostly like all around her paws as you can see it's like hanging over so <clears throat> what I do is I have three different size um, shears here we have a small size a medium size and I have a larger size and these are just some regular like scissors you can buy pet scissors but these work really good for me I don't have any problems with these scissors and you're gonna need a a pet comb this came with her little grooming kit and then I have this little flea comb here and then I have a fine brush to get most of the tangles and then I have a regular um, dog brush so because it is winter I pretty much start with the back legs and see sometimes she do have like little knots she'll get like little knots in her fur but for the most part um, Chloe can you stand up please and I think that she's not acting right because we are um, on this. I normally don't do her, groom her right here. And she doesn't even want to stand up. <laughs> Can you stand up, please? Stand up. Okay, she doesn't want to stand up. Okay. Listen, I'm trying to record here. You're going to have to behave. Behave. This is important to me. Okay. She doesn't want to stand up. So, I'm going to see if I can reposition this camera. Okay, guys. So, now I'm back and we are on the floor like I normally am on the floor. So, hopefully she will cooperate and act right okay so as I was saying I normally start off with her um, I just normally brush her really good and then after I have brushed her pretty well I only really pretty much really want to I want to keep most of the fur that she has because it is winter time so I'm just going to take off a quite a bit of this fur here and how I do that is I usually just take my medium shears and I just go through like down and I just clip just like this I just take my hands and squeeze and pretty much do just like this if you now I'm telling you this is just the way that I do this this is my way of grooming her I haven't had any any problems with grooming uh, Chloe at all she does pretty well and I just evenly clip I don't think you guys can see what I'm doing so I'm going to turn her around this way. 
and you kind of pretty much really want to go in the direction that her hair grows so I just grab pieces and clip and that's all I'm doing is grabbing and clipping grabbing and clipping let me move the camera okay <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm just going down in the direction that her hair grows and just snipping and I just grab some of the hair off because I find that if I do this do it this way it seems to be a lot less than when I go back through with the clippers and I've been grooming Chloe now for a year well actually it will be a year next month because I got Chloe last February and she was already six months old her birthday is in July and she will be um, two so this is pretty much all I'm doing and I'm going to continue to do this until my desired look. So hopefully she'll cooperate. She seems to be cooperating right now because we are on camera so for the most part she is pretty still and I've already taken off quite a bit of hair so far this is what we have taken off so that's quite a bit and the shampoo that I use for Chloe is I actually use Suave the same shampoo that I would use normally in my hair but I just buy her a separate one because Chloe's fur has to be conditioned pretty much so it seems to be working very well um, keeps her coat clean and everything so I'm going to continue to do this I'm not going to bore you guys to death but I'm going to continue to do this until um, I pretty much get even pretty much all the way around okay guys and I will be back okay so when I get around to uh, her legs I brush I brush the hair and I pretty much know exactly about how much I want to clip off and I just start clipping I don't even know if this video is going to go up because of the lighting because she would not stay in the kitchen. So I'm not even sure. how she's going to do because right now she's being lazy 
See how she just slouched down, guys? Lazy. Laziness. She likes being groomed, but then she gets lazy. And doesn't want to sit up and cooperate sometimes. And it can be frustrating. And I just kind of clean the hair up as I go around. And um, so as you can see, I've really, I've taken off a lot of hair, guys. A lot of hair. I saved the tail for last. Um, you will need to wear some old clothes if you don't want to get your clothes messed up because you will have dog fur everywhere. <laughs> And I do have it on me, so I will be have to shake my clothes out, but um, it's fine. For her paw area, what I like to do is I just take the clippers and, okay, stop it. I take the clippers, and if you can see, I don't think you guys can see, all of this hair right here in between where her pads are I just take the clippers and I just go down and I just go around everywhere and she really does not like this because uh, she just hates the clippers but I just take the clippers and I clean the hair up in between the paws I really wanted you guys to see what I'm doing, but I don't know if you guys can see. And I will tell you that grooming a dog does take a lot of patience and skill, pretty much. And I taught myself because she, you know, I don't have $50, $60 to go get her groomed as often as she needs to be groomed. So I, I groom her myself about twice a month sometimes once a month. This is downtown music. Downtown music on the beat.
downtown music. Downtown music on the beat. on the beat. 